Shalom, Shalom, and stars. Of the souls, but give no praise to Allah, Shem Yah Shai. Double honors, post GMS, and honors to brothers that are doing the work in truth, one sincerity. Just gonna do a real quick one. It says in um, response to Apostle Gino Jennings saying that why Jesus the devil. And it was uh, Apostle Tahar's channel, what is the 666 mark? Right, so, um, yeah, no, I was just uploading some vids, and I, you know, I was watching this, and you, know, you watch it, and you're like, damn, you know, so close, yet so far. You know, hey, good, you're saying that, you know, that's not the image, but then he goes on to say in the middle of that, you know, nobody knows what color God is, nobody, nobody knows. What is that? No, we do you know, he goes to say it, it's not written anywhere. Right, which, which ultimately goes on to show that it's still this 501c3, you know, you can't teach X, you can teach Y, you know, you can't go too deep, right? This is Jeremiah 50 and 6, it says, My people that have been lost sheep, their shepherds have caused them to go astray, right? And this guy is, is one of them guys, man. This guy is one of them guys, because like I said, on the one hand, say, like, hey, good for telling them that, you know, this, you know, because he, he gets quite animated as these pastors do. But he's saying that like, this image is in Yahusha, that, well, he, well, first he ain't giving him the names, right? But he's saying, hey, you know, these, these, these guys, you know, this ain't the image, man. Basically cursing out, he's, that's basically what he's doing in his, in, in his video. I'm like calling so-called white man a terrorist, basically. Saying, you know, the fact that they imposed this on Jake was an act, act of terrorism. That's basically what he's saying. But then he goes on to say stuff like that, you know, that doesn't, uh, what do you call it? it uh, we don't know how he looks. Well, that, that just ain't true. Well, it says, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. This is Micah 3 and 11 says the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money yet will they lean or let me read that again the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests priest thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money basically saying these guys do the work of the Lord for gain you know look you know look at this man suit every man age so suited and booted you know oh, let me see if I can get a bit of the crowd you know, it's a big enough, big enough hole. You know, he's, you know, he's pulling in some money. You know, you got, you know, video crews, camera crews, and all of that, and in, 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 in the gaffer, right? So he's making money, but then also, like I said, the father one C three, which is why he ain't going deep, man. Because when you read the scriptures, it says, it says, it says what the Lord looks. We're gonna get that in a second. Like it says what he looks like. Right, it says, um, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None even, none evil can come upon us. Right, so let's get the description of the Lord. Right, so Revelation one thirteen says, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Right, you know, not see how shy whom the Lord ignorant calls Jesus Christ. It says, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with the golden girdle. So that garment down to the foot, that's like the garment we wear at camp. Right, with the fringes and the border of blue. It doesn't get about the paps of the golden girdle. Uh, you know, Jeremiah, Exodus 15 and 3 describes Yahweh as, as, a, as a man of war. Right, scriptures also say that the Lord and, the, and um, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, they're of one mind. So if, if the Lord is a man of if if, if the Most High is a man of war, then his son's a man of war. Therefore, he has a golden girdle because girdles are there to protect your ad abdomen during war. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Right, so it's woolly and white. is woolly in texture and white in color. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, basically because he drank a lot of wine. They called him a wine bib. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass. Right. So basically saying he had brown feet. So if his feet are brown, that means the rest of his body's brown. This is as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Right. We get a Daniel 10, 5 and 6 as well. So then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded in the fine gold of Euphaz. 
His body was like the beryl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes were lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like colour into polished brass. Right, and the voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude, once again describing Yahusha, saying that he had, uh, you know, uh, what you call a brown skin in this one, but there he expounds further, it says, as if they burned in the furnace, and what's the colour of anything that you burn? Like, it goes even darker. Right, so with that, Lord's all you've been notified, I say. Oh, wait, no, I've got one more, it says Swark 1323. I just brought it out in another, another video. It says, When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look, what he saith, they extol it to the cows. But if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will overthrow him. Right, because I can guarantee you, these people in the crowd, how they come past the camp, and we were saying that they wouldn't have been going as crazy as they did. And this guy's straight cursing the image out. Look at me, look at look at it. He's just one of those gnash, he's gnashing his teeth right now. He's like, yeah. Basically cursing people, hey, you know, y'all y'all worship this, y'all kiss this, y'all say you know, if his eyes bleed, this done, y'all then they're hearing that. Then we saw they're hearing that. As if we say it, we curse in the mouth. Why are they putting horns in Jesus? Why are they putting horns in you? Like, oh my god. Right, and if there's more proof, if you need more proof of the scripture, there it is, man. You know, because he'll be classed as a rich man. Say, my man's got a bow tie and shit. Probably got a Bentley outside or whatever, what have you. I don't know, man. You know, but in comparison to us, man, that's, that's a rich man. Probably got a mini mansion, if not a mega mansion that he, he sleeps in every night. So that loves all been edified in the session of one.